What's up guys? So I was actually about to film an autopilot video right now, but my autopilot is not working at all. It's, I'm driving in traffic right now or in Los Angeles traffic, so there's always traffic. And it's not necessarily a bright day. It's kind of cloudy, uh, not too bright at all. And the cameras are detecting other cars or the visualization screen is detecting other cars. But for some reason it says autopilot safety, convenience features are unavailable. Features may be restored on the next drive. It seems like it's still detecting cars around us, but for some reason I keep trying to activate it. So, so this is what happens when I try and activate it. Cruise control unavailable. So, so right now I'm in traffic, in Los Angeles traffic, and I can't use my autopilot at all. So it really sucks. It's funny how you become so dependent on technology and you can't use autopilot. So let's, let's, let's see if I can figure out how to fix this. It looks like I might have to stop and get into park and then re-engage drive and to see if I can re-engage autopilot. So I'm gonna pull off at the next exit, do that, and then hopefully I can get autopilot to work. So I guess this is gonna be my video today. So let's see what happens. in traffic right now it's 1 30 p.m and there's always los angeles traffic it's not a bright day at all so i can't imagine why autopilot would be freaking out over this it must be just a software glitch i've already soft resetted the car and i waited for that to reboot it's still showing the same error on the screen saying that autopilot is unavailable i'll soft reboot it again right now just so we can see uh, kind of what happens maybe it'll come back if i soft reboot it again Okay, so it looks like it's rebooting now. The soft reboot, if you don't know, you have to hit both steering wheel scroll knobs until the screen turns black and then it resets again. So it's soft rebooting now, you'll see the uh, T and there it is again. Autopilot safety slash convenience features are unavailable. Features may be restored on next drive. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm, gonna just, I'm just gonna pull over. So I'm gonna pull over to the next exit, put it in park and then drive again to see if autopilot comes back. Okay, so I've come to a complete stop, put it in park, maybe let it reset and then just throw it in drive again. All right, let's see what happens when I get back on the highway. But yeah, thanks for watching another video, guys. If you're new here, my name is Dennis. I picked up this Model 3 about three couple months ago, and I make videos about my experience, including a weekly autopilot video in Los Angeles traffic. So if you're interested in any of that, please hit that subscribe. So I haven't seen autopilot come back yet. I haven't seen the signal where it says that I can turn on autopilot. Typically, you know you can engage autopilot when you see a steering wheel. Okay, so it looks like autopilot's back. So I've never seen that glitch before, but if you do encounter that, you basically, all you have to do is pull over to the side, hit park, and then re-engage into drive again. So it's kind of like if you don't listen to the nag timer, it'll kind of penalize you into doing that. But I guess it was like a software glitch. I guess it was a software glitch and maybe it had something to do with the cameras and they weren't be weren't able to see your drive so that the car wouldn't let you engage autopilot. I did notice something during that whole issue where I wasn't able to engage autopilot. The headlights for the car was turned on. So I wonder if it had something to do with the cameras and the cameras weren't detecting. Right when I put it into park and then hit into drive, it was perfect perfectly fine and now I should be able to engage into autopilot. Yep, so perfect. Now engage in autopilot and I can continue on my 45 minute drive down to Orange County with autopilot. So yeah, thanks for watching this video. Hit that like if this has happened to you and you figured out that you just had to put it in a park and then drive again. Uh, comment below if you've had any issues just like this and I'll see you guys into the next one. See ya.